What's going on YouTube? Just wanted to give an update. The mimosa has taken a liking. It is sunny and 75 down here in beautiful South Florida. Today, we're going to be harvesting some root bark. So pretty. So this plant is about, say, three years old. And it should be bigger than it is. Most of this growth actually come in the last year or so. But basically, you don't want to harvest until you've gotten flowers. And at least for me, the first couple first couple times it flowered, it went to seed. But the seeds didn't develop all the way. But it's important that you wait for the plant to mature. Usually, it's about a year if it's growing proper, you know. This plant is from South America, so if it's cold, you're going to either need a greenhouse or... It's kind of, it'd be hard to grow it inside, I think. At least in any kind of decent size. And now the root bark of this has a lot of different uses. For one, it's supposed to be really good for burns. If you have open wounds as an antibiotic, it can also be used as a really nice dye for clothing. All sorts of fun things. Now, of course, you're not going to want to take the main root, the tap root going down. I'll loosen the soil up here a little bit. But you're going to want to find a nice knot. Sometimes you got to root around a little bit. See, that's, that's just a tip. We want something a lot bigger than that. So you can see, actually, this tip right here was the last time I harvested. And you can see how quickly. This was probably about two months ago. And it's all growing back beautiful. And it sprouted this whole extra branch here. Actually two. So in a year, those will be as big as the other side of the tree. I'm also going to show you how we take a cutting from a bee cappy plant, which we'll get to in a minute. I have noticed that uh, nematodes seem to be an issue as well. I had a couple other plants and uh, they got chewed up. So This particular plant seems to be pretty, pretty resistant. Nothing bothers it. I don't really water it regularly. It's kind of just doing its own thing. You know, it gets, I don't know maybe five and a half, six hours of direct sunlight a day. I think we're coming up on a nice one here. Maybe a spray ball or something would be helpful too, but you know, Ooh, that's a big one. That's probably our tap. Also, we are going to have some of these seeds and cuttings available very shortly on my Etsy page. So if you want to check out High Ridge Neem at Etsy and uh, see what we got. We also have some Neem, if you ever heard of it. If not, you should give it a little check out. I'm actually going to be doing a video on that shortly. <coughs> Excuse me. But that's an that's, uh, old... A verdict tree an herb and it's used for many different things it's a super antioxidant it's just a really a wonderful plant 
especially it's something if you've got a cold or feeling a little under the weather you should definitely check it out if you haven't ever heard of it all right i'm gonna keep digging we're gonna check out the rest of this in part two when i actually get down to something worth showing all right